Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to the first video in the organic low polygon course. In this video we're going to focus on the creation of a simple low polygon tree. We'll touch base on a couple tips and tricks to help us speed up this process and then to finish it up we will clean up our model by merging a few vertices and cutting back on faces especially in areas where later on baked lighting may have issues. Okay let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is just press AA, select everything, hit delete and make sure that our cursor is in the center of the screen. If it's not, just shift C to do so. And we want to hit shift A, we're going to add a mesh and a cylinder. We'll go ahead and change these vertex count to 12. And we're going to press one on our number pad, then five. And that'll give us a front facing orthographic view. We're just going to press GZ and we want this a little bit underneath our ground plane so that when we're placing these things in Unreal Engine that they do drop underneath the ground, especially for slopes and stuff like that. All right, and now just control shift C and that's gonna set our origin to the 3D cursor is what we wanna do and bring it there. And that lets us scale based on that. All right, so we're gonna set our trunk to an appropriate size and we will go press tab and control tab so that we can select faces. And we're going to just press GZ, bring that trunk up a little higher so it's appropriate. And we'll come down to select this face on the bottom, scale it out a little, like so. Come back up to the top here, and we're going to press E to extrude, and GX, so we can start making our first branch. And just E again, GX along that X. I'm going to press GY here, E again. X. I would say that's pretty good. Let's actually come back a little. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. Now, while in edit mode, we we'll just make sure we're not selecting anything. Press Z so that we can see our wireframe. And B, select all these faces here. Shift D to duplicate it and just right click to reset it. And we're going to press P and separate this by selection. Now we can tab out to object mode and select only that object, rotate along the Z, and just move so that we can do this better. Create a second branch here, like so, and press Z so I can see everything, and shift D to create another one, and rotate this one. Now you could get a little creative with this and make each branch very original. I'm not going to do that for this video, but of course you can. I'm just going to use this initial branch for demonstration purposes. Now at this point we're going to start merging things together. You could either do this by applying a boolean union and setting it to right here setting it to our original cylinder but personally I prefer not to use this method because it does leave behind scraps that you have to clean up. So this is where I recommend the sculpt plugin and its union function. I'll have a link in the description to the sculpt plugin so that you can go to the github get that python script and install it. Now assuming that you do have the sculpt plugin we're going to continue on from there. If you don't have it, of course, go get it. And if you're not going to install it in your Blender, then you'll just do the same thing, except you're going to have to apply a Boolean to each one of these extra branches and associate it to that original trunk and then clean up the scraps that it leaves behind. So what we want to do now, making sure that these are all separate objects, we're going to scale these lower two here so that they're not hanging out like these are. So what we need to do is just select this one here tab into edit mode. I'm going to grab the edge and alt right click the entire edge here and scale that down. And I'll do the same by tabbing out into object mode, tabbing back in, alt right click on this edge here, scaling it down as well. And I'm going to do that one so it's even smaller than the other. That way they're not colliding at all. And we'll just shift right click all these and select union. And now that merges them into a single object and it also cuts out the interior so that you don't have interior faces. Now sometimes this can not work properly and you will have interior faces. If that happens, 
Uh, one method is to just go to select and select all by trait interior faces. If you had any, then it would select those interior faces and you could delete them. Sometimes that might not work as well, and then you have to manually delete them. But ours worked out well, so what we're gonna do now is clean this up a little bit so on the next step when we decimate it that it is not gonna have too many issues where we need to fix a bunch of things later on. Moving on, we are gonna go into edit mode on our new only object in the scene by pressing tab and we're gonna control tab, select vertexes, and we're gonna clean some of this up. We're gonna just take, let's see here, we'll take this one and this one. We're gonna go Alt M, which will allow us to merge vertex. And we're gonna say at last. And do the same for this one and this one. All right, now we'll just bring all these together at center and this one here at last. All right, we'll take, hmm, let's see, we'll take this one, merge it there, and we will take these two, merge them together, and then merge this here. And actually, we'll just take this one there, and we'll bring this one down here. And so this is sometimes a bit of a process. Uh, sometimes you'll find yourself, you know, control Zing out of it. Totally normal. You know, you just, the more you do it, the more it becomes a streamlined thing. And I even find myself with a lot of issues doing this sometimes too. So expect that. <laughs> And we're going to just bring these here. And we do want some of this action in here where we have this interior part. Uh, we don't want that one because that's going to be ugly, so we'll fix that in a second. And we'll take this one up here. Yeah, that's good. We'll do this here. And these two, I just press C so I can select them both. And do that. Now, technically, this is not the way you want to do everything, uh, especially when you have faces like this, because if we go to a mesh analysis and we go to distortion, we'll see this does cause some issues for us, right? Um, where we would have strange cuts and such. But because of what we're doing here, it's not really a big deal because we're going to be decimating this model anyway and that's going to be cutting down the faces and making clean faces for us um, and then we'll also be turning everything into tries later because of the nature of this design which is you know organic low polygon and so it's not really a big deal so we're not going to worry too much about that let's see what's going on here so bring these to center And do this at the first. Bring all these together. Bring these two together. That's looking pretty good. There's a couple more here. So when you're using C, which you've seen me do a couple times, um, C lets you use this like selection here where you can grab whatever you want. Um, and then you right click out of it. And just make sure that, you know, if you are using it, you click on this and you come over here press C it's gonna select everything that you just selected and leave that behind so you gotta make sure you're pressing A to unselect everything so we'll take these two center take this two do that the first one um, this really isn't that bad right here because it's gonna cut into it but it could cause some issues for us later so we're gonna bring this down here and that looks pretty good we got a couple here. If you ever have an issue where you can't select two, but you know there's two vertices right there, um, you know, just press Z, press C, kind of scale that down so you can select and, and grab them like that. All right, and I think we're pretty much cleaned up here. Is that? Nope, these are good. If you're ever confused about if there's a hidden one there, you know, you can just click on it and drag it around um, and then just control Z back. 
but I'm pretty happy with that. I don't see we think we have any issues. Um, another thing we can do is select everything, press W, and remove doubles. And if we see removed X number of vertices here, then you know we had a couple that were overlapping each other, but apparently we didn't, so we're good. And now we can move on to decimating this to see what it will look like. So we'll come over here and select our modifiers tab, and we're going to choose decimate. And by dragging this ratio down, we can bring down the polygon count on our model and get something a little more toward what we're looking for. It's looking okay. Don't like that edge there. We could always manually clean that up, but we're going to try not to. Let's mess around here. That's not bad. There's some symmetry going on, but there's also some uniqueness to each branch, which is nice. And our trunk still looks pretty good. So I'm happy with this. Yep, yep, I'm happy with it. Alright, now we're going to move on to the canopy of our tree. Now, for a canopy, we're just going to make sure that we're in object mode, and we are. And we're going to press Shift A. And we're going to add a icosphere. Now you can just leave the subdivisions for the icosphere at 2. So what we'll do with this icosphere is just expand it outward. You could do something simple, but I like to get a little unique with the shaping of it. So what I'm going to do is just start over here on one side. And now I want to smash down this top here. So I'm just going to press S and Z to smush it like so. And G and Z to bring it down. All right. Now shift D to duplicate, right click out of that so it brings that duplication back to its origin. And we're going to press G and X to bring that out. Now we want some uniqueness in the shape here. And of course we'll be decimating these as well. So they're going to fuse together. But to get that uniqueness we can change scaling a little bit. Um, we can scale along different axes. But actually that turned out kind of nice and I like it so I'm just going <laughs> to stick with that for now. Shift D to duplicate this, right click to send it back, and G and Z to bring it up. G and X to bring it over. And I think that's going to turn out okay. Now what we're going to do is select all of these pieces to our canopy, and we're going to use the Sculpt Tool Union function. Again, if you don't have the Sculpt Tool and you don't want to install it, then you can use a modifier boolean and set that to union by selecting the object you want to union the selected ones to. Again, I prefer this method, it's just a little faster, so I, I highly recommend do get the sculpt tool and just use this union function here. So we'll union that and we'll just tab into it in Z to check to make sure we don't have interior faces and we don't, which is good. And we can tab back out. We're going to add the decimate modifier and bring that ratio down and just watch the magic happen. And now we have this nice organic looking tree canopy for our low poly tree. Not really anything I think I need to change. It all looks pretty organic and pretty unique so I'm, I'm pretty happy with this tree. So what I'm going to do now is because I have the sculpt tool I can select both these objects and apply mods and that will apply both decimates for each of them. If you don't have it again you can just come here come into your modifiers and just apply them individually. But we'll select them all, apply mods, and now we have the geometry of our tree that we're looking for. Now the next thing and last thing we're going to do in this video is merge these two objects together. And the reason this is important is because when you're baking shadows, if you're not using dynamic shadows, which you probably won't be in your game, uh, for these low polygon trees because you know they're not moving they're not going to move it just wouldn't feel right if they did move um, you're probably going to use baked shadows and in a later video we will talk about how to set that up but right now we just want to make sure that we have everything in line so that when we do get there we don't have issues with that now if you're using dynamic shadows the shadows will be pretty nice around here regardless but if you're baking the shadows what you'll get is this weird shadow effect that happens here. And for these low poly trees, it just doesn't make sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge these two together by union. And we just want to look at it real quick and make sure there's not anything funky. 
One thing we can do is try to get these on flat faces as much as possible by rotating along the Z. And see here, go like that. And we can scale this up a little bit. So now we have each one of those trunks going into a flat face. That makes it easier for us when we are setting up our light map uh, UV. And the reason is, is because we want to select everything that's on this triangle here, for example, and be able to just put that on our UV somewhere in our light map. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. And what I'm going to do is just select both of these using my sculpt union. And I'm going to check to make sure I don't have any interior faces and I don't. Everything seems to be nice, clean cut. All right, guys, that concludes the first video in the low polygon organic design. In the next video, we'll talk about setting up UV maps so that we can texture this. If you appreciate the content, you can help support this channel on patreon.com slash toxicity game dev. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. There's a lot to come. Peace.